everybody, and welcome back to Art Carte and Tutorial Tuesday. The theme that won out this week was how to draw gemstones. Last year, I practiced a lot on drawing gemstones. I drew a gemstone inspired piece every single month of the year. So if you want to see those pictures, I'll leave them as a playlist at the end of this video. But let me show you a few of the things that I learned during that year long study of drawing gemstones. All you need to draw gemstones is some paper to draw with and your pencil. If you want a ruler can be super helpful to get those nice straight lines. But depending on how I'm feeling, I will either use a ruler or I won't. It's completely up to you. The awesome thing about drawing gemstones is that you can either be super duper precise or you can be totally organic with it and crooked line and it doesn't matter. I was really intimidated at first when I was learning to draw gemstones because I thought the cuts all had to be precise and even. But the more I began to study and look at pictures of gemstones, the more I realized some of the coolest ones, especially fantasy themed ones, were really cut in lots of weird angles. There was no rhyme or reason to them. So to start off with our first basic gemstone, we're going to pick a shape, any shape that has straight lines. Otherwise you're just going to get like a pearl, <laughs> a circle gem. But if you want like a cut gemstone, a crystal thing, uh, everything has to have straight lines. Now it can be a square or a diamond, triangle, octagon, pentagon, hexagon, whatever kind of gone you want and draw that basic shape. Next, you just begin to add lines. Anywhere there is a bend or turn in the line, you can add a intersecting line from that or a couple. And then it's pretty much like the craziest, weirdest connect the dots, only you generally don't have dots. You're just throwing lines and connecting them and watch your crystal grow. When I was a kid, they had these grow your own crystal packs. And you would take these little tablets or whatever, and you would put them in some sort of a solution. I never got it. So I don't know if it was just water or something like, you know, battery acid or something. I don't know. But you would toss these little tablety things in there. And then over the next few days, weeks, months, I don't know, because again, I never got one, a crystal would grow. So I say that to make it sound like this, because every time I draw a crystal, I never exactly have in my mind exactly what it's going to look like, it changes and grows and becomes its own thing, which is kind of fun because you're a little bit in charge, but then you're really not, which pretty much sums up how I am in life. I am thinking that I'm in charge of things, but really I have no clue what's going on. Now, I'm not going to get into deep detail on coloring the gemstones. There's several different methods that you can do that. One of them is to take an create a gradient in each section, starting from either a dark color to a light color or a light color to a dark color, or you could even go from one color to another color. It's your gemstone. Then for the next section, you flip that. So if you started off having light to dark from top to bottom, then you would flip that and go dark to light on the next touching section. That's going to give you a good contrast and it's going to break those up. So that's one way. Another way is to pick a different hue for every section. So on one section, you would do a really light color. On another section, maybe a dark color. On a third section, an in-between color. And you would just play around with different tones of color. I've seen it done both ways. Both ways are fabulous. And I'm sure there's even other ways. There are so many amazing things you can do with crystals. And this also works if you want to do like ice formations coming down that are really jaggedy. Have fun with this. I certainly did. In fact, I started creating so many different crystals for Tutorial Tuesday that I found I made a mini coloring pack. I was making these crystals and then I thought, wouldn't it be fun to put something inside the crystals? I kind of got the idea from my mermaid coloring pack, which I have one mermaid who's holding kind of this crystal orb. And inside, I think it's a butterfly. I'm not positive, but I think it is. So I thought, what if I put things inside the crystals? After I finished this, I looked up and actually, I'm not original. This is not a, not a unique idea. Actually, several artists, many, many artists have done this. <laughs> but it was still fun. So I made a five piece coloring pack that has a crystal with some sort of botanical plant life and something creature wise, either a bug or I think they're all bugs, <laughs> bugs and flowers and crystals. 
If you'd like more information about my crystal bug flower coloring book, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below and you can check it out for yourself. Also, I'm curious as to how many of you guys have entered the contest. I'm giving away a pack of Prismacolor color pencils and in my last video, I talk about that. So if you haven't entered, jump over there. If you have watched the video, but you're having a hard time finding the thing that you need to enter the contest, let me just give you this hint. And the hint is Tutorial Tuesdays are your best friends. So check out the Tutorial Tuesday videos. I'm not gonna say which one, but your hint is in one of those. That's all I'm gonna say. Now let's get into the part where you guys give your suggestions for the next Tutorial Tuesday, which I think is our last official Tutorial Tuesday. My original plan was to do them just for the month of May, and next week is our last day in May. Can you believe it? It's gone by so fast. Put in your suggestions of what you'd like to see for the last tutorial, and then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the poll that will come up in a few days after and you can vote for that. Now, this doesn't mean that I won't be doing any more tutorials. I definitely will. Let me know in the comment section below though, if you'd like to see Tutorial Tuesdays continue on a regular basis, whether it's bi-weekly or a once a month Tutorial Tuesdays, let me know, or even once a week, if this is just something you really enjoy watching. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions, thoughts, and ideas on the matter. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and thank you for being so awesome and supporting my channel. Remember, there are five ways that you can help support any of your favorite YouTube content creators. So check off to see how many of the five you've done. And as always, God bless you guys and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.